Good afternoon, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you may be at this time. Yes, this is the Perfect Peace Bible Church, where our mantra is, if you make the step, God will send the help. How we thank and praise God to be back in his service one more time. Yes, yes, amen. Been a minute since uh, I've had the opportunity yeah, been a minute since I had the opportunity to be with you. But I thank and praise God that all is as well as it is. Yes, all is as well as it is. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. How we thank and praise God for each and every one that's under the sound of my voice. Yes, we are streaming live right downtown Inglewood, California. Yes, amen, at ktymgospel.net. Call a friend. Yeah, tell them to download this app, ktymgospel.net. I would thank and praise God to be back in the radio booth once again. Yes, to share with you what Jesus has shared with us. Uh-huh. Then we want to say good afternoon, good evening. Good morning, good night, wherever you may be. But stay tuned in for this is a, and the radio broadcast on the World Wide Web of the Perfect Peace Bible Church. How we thank and praise God for each and every one of you that are under the sound of my voice. Yes, amen. We are inviting our friends at this time to tune in, yes, for a rhema word from the Lord. We've been away for a minute, but through it all, God has kept us. Yes, God has kept us. Yes. Then, if you enjoy the broadcast, just wave and let us know you're out there. Above all, share, amen, with your Facebook friend. Uh-huh. We give God all the praise and the honor for this opportunity to be back in the radio booth once again has been even uh, a few minutes, a few days, yeah, a few Saturdays, but God has brought us once again. Then, lest I forget, uh, I want to thank my sponsors who make this possible for the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Yes, we are a worldwide ministry. Uh huh because of you and your support. So we thank and praise God. Uh, we thank God for our sponsors, yes, uh, especially, yes, Pastor Gregory White of the, uh, Lord, the Lord's House of Prayer for All People. At the Lord House of Prayer for All People. I'm trying to get this phone right so y'all can see me. Yeah, it's just good to be here once again sharing with you and Pastor Gregory White of the Lord House of Prayer for All People. Yes, uh-huh. Uh, Pastor Gregory White, amen, has been carrying on in my stead and hasn't missed a beat. So I want to give a shout out to him. Yeah, and his church is located at 9318 Southwestern Avenue. Los Angeles, zip code 90047. So we bless the name of Jesus for Pastor Gregory White and his support. Then let's not forget uh, Sister Kelly Walker Nickerson. Yes, uh, um, what is his um, realty? Uh, I'm trying to think of the name. Uh, got it right on the tip of my tongue. I have to look in the book. But she's on Larchmont Avenue, and I want to pull her number out of this phone and give it to you before we end the broadcast. Yeah, Sister Kelly Walker Nickerson of uh, Keller Williams Realty. Yes, on, she's located on Larchmont Avenue in the city of Inglewood, California. Then let's I forget, amen. Uh, the young man who started out with us, uh, Jay's Holly. Give old Jay a call. Yeah, give Jay a call. He said, no job too small or too large. 
If you call, he'll haul. So give Jay a call. Jay's Hall, and that number is 323-835-2101. Yes, and then I thank and praise God for all the phone calls that we have been getting and support during our setback. But we got it all under control. We got it all under control. For I tell you, amen, at the hat say, more things are wrought by prayer. Yeah, than anything in this world. That's what the cap said. Amen. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Prayer. Yeah. Prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. My brothers and sisters, yes, it does. Prayer changes things. So we are thankful to God. Amen. That He has strengthened us that we can be back and carry on in the midst. And then, lest I forget, I appreciate it. Give a shout out to the CEO and the executive officer of KTY, yeah, gospel.net radio uh, broad, worldwide web broadcast, Dr. Thomas Blackwell of uh, Media Entertainment. And, and I've been talking this thing up, you know, telling people to tune in and hear. Yeah, and then. I want to thank the Perfect Peace Bible Church, yes, who stands by and, yeah, without them, amen, it would be, yes, it would be <laughs> kind of rough, amen, but I thank God yeah, for each and every one, those that show and those that don't, I know that we are in their prayers, yes, we are, uh-huh. But the phone keeps jumping around you now. I'm just trying to get it situated so it won't move. Yeah, so it won't move. Then let me give you a rundown of the Perfect Peace Bible Church. We are located at 111-51-53 South Broadway Avenue. Yes. Ain't getting nothing here, Doc. Amen. We are located at 111-51-53. That's 53 South Broadway Avenue in the beautiful city, yeah. With all our homelessness, it's still beautiful. The beautiful city of Los Angeles, California. Zip code 90061. That's 90061. Yeah. And our order service at the Perfect Peace Bible Church is at 10.30 a.m., yeah. We enter into the doors, the gates of the sanctuary with thanksgiving and praise. Yes, with thanksgiving and praise. Then at 4 p.m., we are right back. Yeah, right back. Had an awesome, awesome young man to come, Minister David Jackson, and share with us on last um, Sunday at 4 p.m. And not only that, I want to say uh, he's... uh, got a conference coming up next month and you don't want to miss a minister david jackson young man that's on fire for the lord 13 years old you wouldn't know it to look at him but that's his age and and he's on fire for the lord yeah and then on wednesday night wednesday night our bible study yeah our bible study we're in the series of the character of the church, what the church should look like, yeah, what the church should act like, what the church should be like. Uh-huh. Friday night, Friday night, just the first and third Friday, the first and third Friday, our healing and deliverance service. Yeah, our healing, our praise, healing, and deliverance service. Yes. And I'm the one that broadcast it. Amen. If you got somebody that's quarantined or, amen, suffering with COVID 19, bring them to 111 53 South Broadway Avenue. Yeah, right on the corner of 111 Place and uh, Broadway Avenue. And you can't miss us. We got a big sign. <laughs> yeah, you cannot miss us at the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Yeah, we're one of those. 
that even during the midst of the pandemic, we haven't closed the doors. God have blessed. He have added, yes, to the membership. God has done some awesome things in the midst, yeah, of the chastisement of the church. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm still on the belief that if we pray, yeah, if we pray, turn, yeah, from our disobedience, yeah, and rebelliousness and slothfulness and go into the vineyard and work, then God will heal the land. Yeah, God will heal the land. And I thank and praise God for this opportunity once again to be coming to you. Yeah. In this segment of social media, Facebook Live, yeah. <laughs> so that's our schedule of services, yeah. And then um, starting Holy Wing, yeah, the fifth Sunday at 4 p.m., we will be starting our Winter Revival, yeah, our Winter Revival. Got two great preachers coming, yeah, and my spiritual son. Uh, one of my spiritual sons, Dr. Lamar Simmons, uh, yeah, uh, just got called to another church. Uh, uh, yeah, just got called to Pilgrim's Hope. Yeah, and that installation service will be the 24th of this month, the fourth Sunday at 6 p.m. Yeah, Dr. Lamar Simmons, yeah, and he will be. And then we got the grandson, you know, the grandson of Dr. Timothy, bless my bones, uh, yeah, Chambers' grandson, uh, one of his grandsons, yeah, Dr. Yeah, w. Keith Wood, yeah, they're going to be, amen, w. w. Keith Wood will start off that fourth Sunday, yeah, that fifth Sunday at 4 p.m. He'll be preaching uh, Sunday evening at 4 p.m., Monday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Our revival will be from the 31st, yeah, October the 31st, 4 p.m., then Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. at the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Thank you, Brother Malachi Breaker, if you're watching and tuning in and waving. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you don't want to miss this revival. You talking about... Amen. Some brethren and, and some God talkers expounding on the word. And like our sign say, when you enter into the gates, yeah, when you enter into the doors, expect the miracle. Expect the miracle. Yes, we're inviting you. Yes, to our winter revival. That's the Perfect Peace Bible Church. And we are located at 11151. That's 53. Two buildings in one place. South Broadway Avenue, yeah, Los Angeles, California. That's nine double zero six one nine zero zero six one. Right on the corner of 111 Place and Broadway Avenue. And as I always say, can't miss us, cause we got a sign. <laughs> yeah, we got a sign. And when you get to that red light right there on the corner of 111 Place and Broadway. Just look to your right if you're headed south. If you're headed north, just look to your left, and you'll see the sign. Expect a miracle. Yes, we are the house of miracles where the Holy Ghost rules and super rules. Yes, yes. With unimaginable things. Yes. We're the church. Yes. There's Bible led, Bible fed. And Bible talk. Yeah. So come. Yes. And see what God is doing. Yeah. With the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Those are our announcements. Then I want to once again thank and praise God. Amen. For you. And for your. Yeah. Your love offerings. Your contribution. Your remarks. Yeah, and your words of encouragement. Yes, your words of encouragement as we keep pressing on. Yes, our scripture for our church revival. Yes, our 19th year our church revival is this. Yeah, a church 
that's following the plan of God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. We ain't leaning to our own understanding because we can't figure this out. <laughs> no, we walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah, we looking unto him, the author and finisher of our faith. Yes, God bless you, my brothers and sisters. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. Yes, amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop Dr. Dwayne Jones of Lancaster, California, Living Waters Christian Center. Anybody up in that area, you need to check Dr. Dwayne Jones out. Yeah, a uh, man of God, a God talker. Thank you for tuning in, my brother. Pray for us, yes. Yeah. And we look forward to seeing you soon, yes. Yeah. And once again, that revival starts, yes, yeah, October the 31st at 4 p.m., uh, our evangelist for the first three nights will be, um, yeah, Dr. W. Keith Wood, yeah, of Los Angeles, California, pastor of the Roger Williams Missionary Baptist Church. He will be throwing down uh, Sunday evening, 4 o'clock, Monday, 7 o'clock, Tuesday, 7 o'clock. From Monday to Friday, our services will start at 7 p.m. on time. And once again, you that are in the Lancaster area, amen, stop by the Living Waters Christian Center. Google it. Yeah, Dr. Bishop Dwayne Jones, pastor. Thank you for tuning in, my brother. God bless. Amen. Now, uh, once again, amen, our vision, our vision this year. Yes, our vision this year. Uh-huh. I believe. Once again, our vision this year, we're going to focus on our youth. We're going to focus on our youth. And you that out there that have some, don't mind volunteering some computer uh, skills and teaching, contact, yeah, the Perfect Peace Bible Church at 323-412-3979. That's 323-412-3979. Three nine seven nine, and just ask for Pastor Ashley, you know, Pastor Ashley of the Perfect Peace Bible Church. You know, I, just out of observation, yeah, just out of observation, it ain't church like it used to be. No, it ain't church like it used to be, and if we don't, Amen. The leaders, yeah, of God's people that He have placed on the our care and, and responsibility of, of of their souls. Let me put it like this. Amen. No matter how holy you are, yeah, no matter how anointed you are, this body still has to eat, still wants a roof over its head. Yeah, this body. Yeah. And I'm under the sound conviction, amen, that the church has to do more than teach and preach the gospel. Yeah, the church has to do more than teach and preach the gospel. And we've invested in computers and we're looking for volunteers that's willing to just stop by, yes, and help us train our young folks. Yeah, yeah, and, and our youth retreat. That's what we talked about, yeah. Relationships, yeah, commitment and investment. And I, I, I be watching um, not a amen, Facebook uh, addict, but I be listening and watching things. How people be talking about people just take the computer, don't have to leave home, yeah, and making a decent living. Yeah, and we need to get our youth involved at as early age as we can. Yeah. So there's more, yeah, in social media than TikTok. <laughs> it's more than that. Yeah. yeah, so I thank God for social media. But we have to hey, be mindful, yes, to teach our youth what they are, uh, amen, should be doing, are uh, required to do with all this technology 
that's confronting them and hitting them in the face, and they don't know what to do with it, but the, yeah, the TikTok and that. No, it's more than that. So, we're setting up, yeah, the sanctuary, setting up, yeah, under the canopy, laptops and desktops, so that children can come. And then I want to say this, yeah, because we went through this in the beginning of our ministry, yes, about 19 years ago, and the parents wouldn't bring the children. Shame, shame, shame. I just tell it like it is, Dr. Jones. Yeah. Wouldn't bring the children. I had, yeah, and, and I ain't about no color, but I had white supervisors, my co-workers, coming to where we're at right now to teach our kids, and the parents wouldn't bring them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... You know, we'll be advertising as we go into uh, the new year. If the Lord said the same, 2022, we're going to kick it off, yeah, and have the doors open and everything set up. Yeah, with information, material, and we already and have, I think, about eight computers, but we'd like to get about 12. So anybody got a used computer that we can upgrade, give us a call at 323-412-3979. That's 323-412-3979. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. And let me uh, yeah, again mention our sponsors. Yeah, Sister Kelly Walker, Nickerson of uh, Keller Williams Realty, located on Larchmont, Larchmont Avenue in Inglewood, California. Yeah, give her a call. Yeah, if you're looking to buy a home, sell a home, yeah, lease a home, manage your real estate, she is the one. And then my brother, yes, my brother, yes, um, Pastor Gregory White, yes, Pastor Gregory White of the Lord House for all people who carried on for us, amen, uh, taking up the Sundays that, the Saturdays that I'm here, carried on for us, amen, and his church is located at 9318, yeah, Southwestern Avenue in the city of Los Angeles, zip code 90047, yes, and, and we thank God for him. Then Jay's Hall. Jay's hauling no job too small or too large for Jay. Jay is a multi-talented entrepreneur. He do he does uh, termiting, yeah. He does um, he mean painting and hauling, yeah. Pick up hauling and delivery. So give Jay a call at three two three eight three five two one zero one. I think it's 832-2801. So give Jay a call. And don't forget to tell him that the Perfect Peace Bible Church, yeah, yeah Pastor, Pastor C.L. Ashley referred you. Yes. So God bless you, my brothers and sisters. We got it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got one of our, my homeboys, amen, is going to share with us tonight, uh, Apostle John L. Mohorn, yeah, Apostle John L. Mohorn Sr. He's going to share with us tonight, amen, and we would that you would tune in and hear this man of God. He was scheduled, amen, to be our evangelist for our winter revival, but yeah, Amen. Uh, some things come up in his family that he wouldn't be able to make it. But God always, yeah, I tell people, God always have a ram in the bush. Yeah, you just keep moving and keep working. Yes, yeah, just, just stay in the vineyard. Yeah, and storm clouds do rise. 
Yeah, uh huh. Storm clouds do rise in you, and 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 storm, yeah, do come. Yeah, trials and tribulations come. But I'm a living witness. If you just keep moving, and when you get where you can't move, just hold your position and talk to God, for He had declared in His Word, yeah, and the Holy Ghost gave me the name for the sanctuary. Yeah, the Perfect Peace Bible Church, Isaiah 26 and 3. If you trust him and keep your mind stayed on him and trust him, he had declared that he will keep you in perfect peace. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. So, and don't forget, my brothers and sisters, this wonderful revival of the Perfect Peace Bible Church began in October the 31st and as Sunday afternoon service, 4 p.m. Yeah, Dr. W. Keith Wood, pastor of the Roger Williams Missionary Baptist Church, will be our evangelist at 4 p.m. Then again, Monday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Then one of my spiritual sons, yeah, uh, Dr. Lamar Simmons, yeah, will tighten it up on Wednesday, Thursday and close it out on Friday. You don't want to miss, yes, this winter revival of the Perfect Peace Bible Church. And, and then, if you don't want to come in the sanctuary, we got a monitor, yeah, a 42-inch monitor out under the canopy. Yeah, you can sit out there. And we got heat lamps, yeah, so you don't have to worry about getting cold. You got heat lamps, got it. All the PEPs, air filtration units in the building, uh, hand sanitizers, uh, face masks, and soap, uh, all from the yeah from the front door to the back door, which is the restrooms. Yeah, we got we got it, we got it, we got it for you. So come on and be blessed of the Lord with these two God talkers. Yeah, God talking. Yeah, God talking. Think about I mean, Dr. Lamar Simmons. His church is, one of his churches is located on Hoover and <clears throat> Colden. Yes, Hoover and Colden. Yeah. Um, so, and then he just got called to Pilgrim Hope of Compton, California. The installation service was start at six o'clock the fourth sunday october the 24th you want to be there for that installation service yeah i, I, I think amen uh, the past pastor who got called to atlanta georgia uh, his name uh, dr darren uh, robertson yeah i think he gonna be the keynote speaker so come on and let us encourage this man of God as he, yeah, man, stand on the wall, stand on the wall, stand on the wall, yeah, for our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, yeah. So, I want to say good evening, have a God bless, a worship celebration Sunday tomorrow, and then Amen. A uh, wonderful and blessed week. We're going to get ready, amen, to let you hear our friend, yeah, our friend, yeah, my brother from another mother, Apostle John L. Mohorn of the Word of the Living God Ministries of Pompano Beach, Florida. Hear ye him. Blessings from the Word of the Living God Ministries, located in the beautiful city of Pompano Beach, Florida. Our pastor is none other than Apostle John L. Mohorn Jr. We invite you to worship and fellowship with us here at the Holy Ghost Headquarters. Our services are as follows. Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., Sunday evenings at 7.30 p.m., Bible study on Tuesdays at 8 p.m., and our healing and deliverance services are on Fridays at 8 p.m. We're located at 149 Northwest 26th Avenue, Pompano Beach, Florida. 
33069. I am Evangelist Sherry Bates. And if you call us here at 954-970-4200 or send us a written request, I will mail you a bottle of blessed oil and a spiritual prayer cloth. For the Bible says in Genesis 8 and verse 22, as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest shall not cease. Remember, the seed that leaves your hand will never leave your life. So if you wish to sow a seed in our ministry, please mail your offering and or your written request to Word of the Living God Ministries, P.O. Box 667171, Pompano Beach, Florida, 33066. And as always, remember, if you make the step, God will send the help. Hallelujah. You woke me up this morning and started me on my way. Some said it was Paul, but the books say unknown. But whoever it was, he said to us this morning, let brethren love continue. Be not forgetful. Hold, 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 hold it, Apostle. Let brother love continue. That's me. You got to love me with unconditional. Come on, you. You got to love me. I don't care how crazy I get sometimes. Because real love don't change. I say real love don't change. Don't just love me for what I can do for you. Real love will love me when I can't do for you. Real love is just like Jesus Christ in that sixth, in that eighth verse. Say Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Saints got to stop changing. You can't be one person in the church and another person outside the church. Look at your neighbor. Don't touch us. How many masses you have? Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> I know some of y'all probably that mask we wear probably got a whole lot of. I'm talking the whole face mask because some folk put on a mask in church and put on a mask outside the church and then put on a mask when you go to the store. But listen what Paul. Listen what he said. He said, "Let brethren love continue." Uh huh. Be not forgetful. Be not forgetful. To entertain strangers. To entertain strangers. For thereby. For thereby. Some have entertained angels. Some have entertained angels. Unaware. Unaware. So what the writer is saying. The writer is saying everybody. The people that don't dress like you. They ain't no devil. Just because they don't walk like you. Don't mean they're devil. 
Just because they don't talk like you don't mean there's a devil. The writer saying be aware, be careful. Because some strangers is angels. I wish I had help there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I wish I had help there. So just because they don't dress like you don't mean they're a devil. Are you hearing the book? Just because they don't run like you don't mean they the devil. Just because they don't live in the community you live in don't mean they the devil. Well, the writer is saying something powerful here. And this one strip we should never let slip. So when I meet strangers, I got to be aware, I got to be careful of myself, especially being saved. If you ain't saved, I understand. But if you say, don't you treat a stranger different than you treat anybody else. That's what the book is saying. If you treat everybody the same, you might can win somebody. But when people see you acting one way over there and one way over there, that's why Chief Apostle Paul had to go get Peter straight. When he looked and saw Peter was fellowshipping with the Gentile, but when the Jews came around, Peter backed away. And Paul called Peter to the side and told Peter, say, God has no respect to person. If you can fellowship with the Jews, with, with the fellow with Gentiles without the Jews, you ought to be able to fellow with them with the Jews. And so he said, be not forgetful to entertain strangers for hereby, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Just look at your neighbor, don't tell him, say, be careful when you're in the public. I'm going to say that again, say, be careful when you're in the public. Uh-huh, read the book. Remember them that are in bonds. Remember them that are in bonds. As bound with them. As bound with them. And them which suffer adversity. Uh huh. As being yourselves also in the body. Read. Marriage is honorable. Marriage. I, 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 I was, when I was meditating on this, I said, how can you deal with the first two verses and go into marriage? <laughs> he said, marriage is honorable. And the bed is undefiled. Thank you, whoever said that over there. Because it's showing sure up quiet on this side. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I, I, I really want you to read that again, but I don't want the church to shut down on me. Because when, when you said that, it, 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 it's, like, it's like the wind came out of the balloon. The air came out. But read it anyhow, uh, prophet. Marriage is honorable. Marriage is honorable. In all. In all. And the bed is honor. And I ain't talking about no common law marriage. Because the law of the world says if you've been with a woman 10, 8 years, you marry. That ain't what the word say. Look at somebody, don't tell them, say, wake up and smell the coffee. I know folk, folk say, man, you've been with that man that long, y'all married. Eight, ten years, you married. Not by God's law. By God's law, you shaking. Oh, they don't like me today. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, no, you, ain't no common law in the Bible. Is it, prophet? You think you're going to... Ask, ask uh, what that girl name on uh, Facebook? Not Google, uh, Cyril, yeah. <laughs> Act serious, common law is in the Bible. Is it in the Bible, prophet? It ain't in there, okay. And I, so common law marriage, it's not in the Bible because God don't honor common law marriage. He honor marriage. Dearly beloved, we stand here in the presence of God to bring these two together in holy matrimony. And if it be your intention to take each other, husband and wife, unite your right hand together. 
woman repeat after me. Do you take this man who hand you hold to be your lawful wedded husband to honor him, cherish him, respect him, and forsaken all of us? I'm talking about forsaking sugar daddy. I'm talking about forsaking those y'all ain't saying I'm gonna preach today, brother. Now, man, do you take this woman who hand you love to be your lawful wedded wife to honor her and respect her? To death do you part. Huh? Show me the reins. <laughs> Let me get back in the text. Y'all don't like me today. There, listen, there, there's a refreshment. There's a refreshment that God is putting because we need it because what we had to go through in 2020. If the church ever experienced a refreshing in the spirit, we need it now. Three people jump up and say, now. We need a refreshing now. We went through some stuff. And not only we went through some stuff, we had to hear some stuff. Since March, all across the TV stream. 19,000 affected. 250,000 died. But God is still God. Oh, I wish I had help right there. I say God is still God. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. Listen to what he said. He said, marriage is honorable in all uh huh. And the bed undefiled. And the bed is undefiled. But homemongers. Uh oh. Reverend. But homemongers and adulterers. But homemongers and adulterers. God, God will judge. God judge. Uh huh. Read. Let your conversation be without covetousness. Uh huh. And be content with such things as ye have. And be content with such things as ye have. Be, that's what Paul said. Be content in whatever stage you've been in. Paul said, I've been instructed to be content when I'm hungry, when I'm full. Paul said, I don't care what comes on my life. I don't care what comes under the heaven. Paul said, I am content. Why? Because I've been instructed. By what? The word of God. Nobody can instruct you like God's word. If you believe it, walk in it. I was saying yesterday, bless God, uh, Jesus said in St. John, in John 14 chapter, he, he said, believe in God, but believe also in me. And, and I said to him in the funeral yesterday, you, you got to go beyond, you got to go beyond believing. Why? Because the Bible says in the book of Genesis, Enoch you know, walked with God and said he was taken. And when he took it, he left a testimony that he did what pleased God. So not only believe in God, you got to believe in, you got to walk with him. And your walk got to please him. You can't be walking bow legged. Come on here. You can't be turning to the left, turning to the right. If you're going to walk with God, we're going to walk straight. They don't like me, Eddie. Thank you, Jesus. Read the book. I'm going to get out of here. I got to get to my wife. Be content with such things as ye have. Be content with, with such things. He have. Don't, be, don't get like the Joneses. Whatever you got, ride it out. And when you learn how to be content and God says, oh, you know how to handle that, I'm going to give you some more. Now, God ain't in giving a thing. He will give things. God wants you to have more of his anointing before you get all these things. Because getting all these things without the anointing of God, the wolf your heart puff and blow it down. But when he start puffing, he say, no, this house got the anointing. And I'm not talking about the church house. I'm talking about this house. Whenever the enemy come to check you out, and he will tell you, your neighbor say neighbor say the devil will he'll come to check you out to see if there's any anointing in your house you may have a lot of money you may have a beautiful house but is your house it's covered under the blood do it have the anointing I'm talking about the anointing that lift burdens and breaking the strong every yoga wave your hand say Lord 
empower me with a double potion of your anointed spear. Got to get out of here. Read, read here for me. Be content with such things as ye have. Uh, what verse you on, Reverend? Five. Five, okay. For he had said, I will never leave thee nor oh, forsake wait a minute. thee. For he has said, talking about God, look what he said now. He said, for he had said, but first you got to be content. See, and, and be content with such things as he have. For he has said, who talking about God. For God has said, what did he say? I will never leave thee. I will never leave thee. Nor forsake thee. Nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say. For listen to this. For we may boldly say. The Lord is my helper. The Lord is my helper. Y'all only got that for there. Um, for he had said I would never leave you. I would never forsake you. For you can open your mouth boldly and say the Lord is our helper. Boy, if I ever gave you good news, too, that's good news there. I, I, I'm talking about, uh, Al, that's news to run with. Come on, you ought to tell somebody, you ought to run and tell this. Extra, extra, read all about it. The Lord said, I'll never leave you. <laughs> and I will never forsake him. <laughs> and I will be with you to the end of all ages. <laughs> For the Lord is our helper. <laughs> and he may not come when we want him. <laughs> but the Lord is always on time. <laughs> Can I get a witness here? <laughs> we got to move on here. <laughs> so that we <laughs> may say boldly, <laughs> the Lord <laughs> is my helper and I would not fear what man can do to me remember them which have ruler over you who have spoken under you the word of God y'all ain't saying nothing when you get down to the 8th verse the 8th verse declare that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forevermore open your mouth say he won't change the Lord won't change what he did back there he'll do more now all you got to know that the Lord will never leave me that mean folks gonna leave you folks gonna walk away from you but God said say be content why cause I would never leave you I'll be right there that's why David said in Psalm 46 say the Lord is my refuge in my strength and he's a present help in time of trouble over in Psalm 31 I heard David say in the fourth verse say Lord pour me out of this net which they have laid privately just for me in other words David was saying say Lord they trapped me they stayed up all night and they put it together and you might not believe this it was a handful of folks got together with some doctors and they put COVID-19 together and it became that net and they done throwed it over the whole world but what they don't know I help is in the law and he's gonna pull gonna pull us out it's just a matter of time can I get a witness somebody see yeah the Bible said that God he pulled the children of Israel out of Egypt he pulled Daniel out of the lion's den he pulled Shadrach and a Meshach and a Benigo out of the furnace of fire surely he's gonna pull us from COVID-19 why because there's no secret what God can do what he did back there he'll do it for you look at your neighbor say neighbor I have no doubt that God gonna pull me out 
it's just a matter of time it's soon going to be over can I get a witness I want to talk about when God through Joseph brought Israel down to Egypt and the Bible said when the first Pharaoh died and the other Pharaoh came on the scene he had no favor with Joseph had no favor with the children of Israel matter of fact the second king called his men together he said the Hebrew is our growing up they gonna be more than we are so he commanded the handmaid say go in the village of the children of Israel every male boy that is born I need you to kill him we're gonna stop the growth we're gonna stop them from multiplying and the Bible said that the handmaid said they feared God they didn't kill them all but they kill a lot then the Bible said after the, the musician that was under the king told the king say oh king say the one they've been waiting on say he been born and the king said how can it be they told the king he can't be no more than two years old the king said go in the village of the Hebrew and every boy baby from two years old down say kill him in other words you can't stop the plan of God you got to understand that all of us is under biblical prophecy you can't stop the prophecy because the word of God goes out and would not return him more and the king knew that he couldn't stop the prophecy but I'm just going to kill a whole lot of them and I'm saying it live and in color they got together to stop us because the biblical prophecy that's on our life you ought to say what is it I'm glad you asked though that was last it's going to be first I ain't got no help I say we that been last if they're coming first and they can't stop the prophecy but they made up in their mind that they're going to kill a whole lot of us somebody say well some of them dying too but not as many as us but I come to tell the devil I'm in the prophecy of God and I heard brother Casey that Paul said say all things work together for the good of them that love the law who are called under his purpose put your hand on yourself now hug yourself say I'm in the will I'm in the will of God I'm tied up in purpose that means that no weapon that a form against me is going to prosper every tongue that rise up against me it's going to be condemned I come to tell the church that weeping may endure for a night but joy is coming in the morning look at your neighbor say neighbor say hold on hold on many of the affliction of the righteous but the Lord the Lord the Lord is going to deliver out of them all say yeah say yeah Why are you sitting down? Tell somebody. Say, we coming out of this. Just hold on. I guarantee you, we coming out of this. We coming out this year. Well, David said, say, we went through the fire. We went through the flood. But 
that he brought us out uh, into a wealthy place. Uh, throw your hands up. Uh, say, Lord, uh, when you bring me out, uh, bring me out uh, like you did the children of Israel. Uh, when you brought them out, uh, you bankrupt, uh, bankrupt Egypt. Uh, they came out uh, with more uh, than enough. Uh, say, yeah. Uh, come on, say, yeah. So the Bible said in the book of Psalm 31 and 4, David said, say, Lord, say, pour me out of this net. And I know all of us, we trap in the net of COVID-19, but it ain't going to touch this. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm too legit to quit. That's why I'm still running. I'm still running. Grab myself. Say, keep running and see what the end. The end gonna be. I already know what the end gonna be. Cause I've read it in the last book in this Bible. The end tell me. Say, we won. The devil can have this earth. Can have Yes, 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 yes. We coming out, my brothers and sisters. I want you to jump on board with the Perfect Peach Bible Church. Yes, Apostle John L. Mohorn Jr., the Word of the Living God Ministries, on his way. Yes, on his way. Yes, he is. Okay, nephew. All right. Yes, he's on his way to the city of Los Angeles, California soon. You don't want to miss him. But my brothers and sisters, I want you to meet us, meet us, meet us tomorrow. Yeah, meet us tomorrow at the Perfect Peace Bible Church. And once again, where our mantra is, if you make the step, God will send the help. Yes, our first service starts at 10.30 a.m. Yeah, then at 4 p.m. we are right back, lifting up the name of Jesus. Yes, encouraging, covering, yes. Yes, we are in the vineyard and on the wall. Then you don't want to forget our winter revival, our winter revival. You that are under the sound of my voice, yeah. Our winter revival starts October the 31st, just a few days off, just a few days off. Yeah, our evangelist will be none other than Dr. W. Keith Woods of the Roger Williams Missionary Baptist Church and one of my spiritual sons, Dr. Lamar Simmons of the Greater Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church and Pilgrim Hope Missionary Baptist Church. His installation service for Pilgrim Hope will be October the 24th at 6 p.m. Come and let us encourage this young man to stay on the wall. Yes, for God will, amen, see to him, amen, performing the task that he has called him to do. Yes, God will. Amen. And like Apostle Mohon said, hold on. He might not come when you want him, but as Big Mama used to say, he might be the slowest man in the world, but he ain't never been late. And I've come to find out that amen, she knew what she was talking about. Yes, she knew what she was talking about. So I want to encourage you to hold on. Yeah, hold on. And I went to revival start at October the 31st. Y'all say Halloween. We say Holy Wing. Yeah, we say Holy Wing. October the 31st at 4 p.m. And Dr. W. Yeah, Keith Wood will be. Yeah. I get, let me get this call, y'all, from Tennessee. So meet us, meet us. God bless you. Amen. I realize that you may be going through and you may not know what to do right yeah, now. No. But just know that God will never leave huh? you nor forsake you. Have I got a witness out there? Oh, then you do. Okay, I'll call you right back. I'm going to go tonight.
Bible talk. God bless you. We're out of here.